Hello and welcome to Oz Adventure Life, we're Caitlin and Michael and on this week's episode we explore everything that Broom has to offer. Hey guys, welcome back to another episode, Michael wants to say hello to you. Hey guys. <laughs> we just arrived here in Broom, we are staying at Tarangal Caravan Park. I think that's how you pronounce it. It's near Cable Beach, so we're just in overflow camping, we've got a nice little spot here prime location if you ask me and there's a few trees around that shades it too yeah, so it's nice. keeps it cool on a hot day and it's beautiful weather as you can well I mean you can't really see the sky but we'll show you it's nice and hot and sunny we're very excited to spend some time here so we're gonna finish getting set up and um, enjoy the rest of our day restock time <laughs> yeah. been off grid all week without any uh, water supplies so we're making sure that we're filling up and uh, we've also got some washing on at the moment and unfortunately the toilet has to get done so we'll do all that kind of stuff before we go out and enjoy the day just to make sure we're all set and ready to come back to relax this afternoon. Here at Cable Beach. It's amazing we got a sail ship out just here We've got some camels that are doing their walk um, down to our right and we also got some dolphins that we've just seen pop up and they're probably going to come straight in front of that sun as it goes down it looks like it so just be honest, I can't put the drone up here it's um, not letting me I'm going to give it a crack again see if I can but if I can't I'm sorry yeah, I'll let you <laughs> down I'll, I'll, I'll feel bad but um, yeah you just got to soak in the view while we've got it we're really enjoying it tonight. Tomorrow we'll bring the car down and we'll give you a look at the camels because um, it's a pretty awesome spot. I think it's probably our best western sunset. I think so, yeah. It's just right, oh, it's amazing. <laughs> Good morning guys, we are awake, feeling refreshed after a big day yesterday doing all of our, <clears throat> pardon me, all of our housekeeping, catch up, washing, filling tanks. It's a big day. Cassette, everything. <laughs> we did a big overhaul in the van, made sure it's all clean and reset. So yep. we enjoyed the sunset last night at Cable Beach. That was pretty awesome. It was. And today we have a busy day. Yeah, we're getting out and about. We're going up to Coconut Wells this morning. Uh, it's low tide there right now, so we're gonna go and check that out. They have a few rock pools that you can see as well. And then after that, where are we off to? I think after that, we're going to, what's that bay? Roebuck. We're gonna go check out Roebuck Bay. So we'll check out Roebuck Bay and it's not high tide until this afternoon. So I'm sure it will be a hot day today. We might go try and find some rock pools, but we're gonna really use today to get out there and explore what there is to see around Broom. And we're gonna top off the day um, at Cable Beach for a beautiful sunset and we'll take the car down there and yep. hopefully get a good view of the camels. So Surely. we're in for a busy day, let's get into it. The high tides here are high. So right now I think it's down at like 1.6 meters. Um, and then the tides get up to like nine meters. So this, shift. yeah it is. This road would not be able to be driven on, um, on high tides. So just make note of that. Check the tide times before you come out here. And we haven't let our tires down. The sand is very hard. So we thought we'd just um, come as far as we can if we need to deflate. We will. Probably a um, little bit lazy, but um, yeah. <laughs> so far it's been like rock hard, so we're going okay. Yeah, that was definitely no need to air down. <laughs> no, it was very easy. I mean, we did. Uh, did uh, take our chances there and it could have gone either way but very lucky. And there's a little car park at the end so we're just gonna park here we're just gonna 
walk down there and hopefully there's um, some pretty cool rock pools down here. So we went and checked out Roebuck Bay, but it was low tide. It was pretty cool red dirt road out there. We went for a walk once we got out there and had a look anyway. Yeah, there was a place out there where they said there's dinosaur footprints. So don't quote me on that. I don't actually know if they actually are. But it was just on wiki camps. It was on wiki they camps and they do tours to them apparently as well. So that kind of makes it official, but we had a look anyway. And as you can see, we've seen these big lookalike footprints. I mean, it they could believe be. to be back from the dinosaur age. So, but we're gonna head back to Roebuck Point and show you more of that another day when it is high tide. But we've just pulled up at Gantham Point. Yeah, and there's a couple of rock pools that are down uh, a track here at the point, not too far down. So we're gonna go and check out there. I think there's three. Three different rock pools. Yeah. The wind's died off a little bit, so hopefully we can get the drone up. But it's. 30 degrees and I am keen for a swim so we're gonna find this pathway um, and we'll keep you guys updated because it's sort of a bit of a maze to find these little places isn't it? Yeah it makes, makes it a little bit more fun. Yeah alright <laughs> let's go find it and go for a swim. So the first rock pool that we are trying to find you walk all the way down to the end of the pathway and then turn left and you have to walk along this coastline area for a few hundred meters um, and then it's a bit of a climb down the rocks. We're gonna show you the exact thing to look out for because I just, Spotted I looked at a photo it. and then had a look at the coastline and I was easy, you know, it was easy enough to pick out. So we'll show you the rock that you need to look for. Okay. The rock that you need to look for so we can see the rock pool right down in there um, so we're just going to figure out how to climb down there and go in for a dip here but as you can see it's still pretty low um, we're here at an eight and a half meter high tide so I'd say I don't know I guess when it gets up to like a nine meter high tide the waves probably start crashing over the edge and um, fills up a nice little pool in there Pretty cool, hey? Yeah, that was awesome. Right on the water. 
it filled up pretty quick for us when we got there it was pretty low so we just sat there and watched it fill up and um, got to enjoy it once it was full and the water temp was perfect. It was probably closer to the nine meter high tide that it got really full. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. so definitely check the tides before you make your trip there here. Definitely, you don't want to be swimming in there at low tide. <laughs> just made our way down to Cable Beach for the afternoon. Yeah, and we're going to spend it here. We're going to watch the sunset, watch the camels, have a bit of a snack. We've got some cold beverages as well, which will go down a treat. And uh, yeah, we're just going to chill out for the afternoon, watch the sun go down, stick the drone up as well. It's going to be a perfect afternoon. We've got the chairs, so we'll get them out and really enjoy, hopefully. Might even have a swim. Yeah, I'm ready for another swim. Those, <laughs> that first rock pool that we went to, that was awesome and that was definitely the best yeah um the other one that we were going to go see didn't exist anymore like the, i don't know the tide needs to be really high like we had a nine meter high tide today mm. and i it don't know it would have to be at like least two meters half. high yeah. <laughs> so you'd have to have a really big high tide um but then on our way out we stopped at that other little point that we went out to mm. near that bay and we found the other plunge pool that we were looking for <laughs> um so that was pretty cool but even that was like that wasn't even half filled um no. and i mean it was probably like an eight and a half meter tide by then but mm. so you'd need a big tide for the plunge pool as well yeah but all in all still had fun yeah it was awesome we hope you guys enjoyed um today because we definitely did as well oh, yeah but we're going to top off the day here at cable beach and Let's have some awesome views. Yeah, can't wait. guys i'm in the car just waiting for michael he's locking up the van we are heading up to james price point today so it's 60 kilometers away from broome should take us about an hour to get there road is corrugated for part of it so it might take us a bit longer but we'll assess that when we get there we're super excited so let's get right into it you ready to go yep ready to hit the road and get up there wasn't too bad to begin with and 
once we had 25 k's to go it got really bad um, we dropped the tires down to 30 still bumpy <laughs> probably could go down to 25 but yeah there was a couple of kilometers there where it was just really bad and the parts that we're on now is like there's a lot of like washed out dips so yeah definitely take it easy on this road changing as you can see there's no noise it's smooth most of the corrugations are like sandy corrugations but there is the occasional rocky section that you go through so yeah just be really careful with your tire pressure choice um, but for the first part of the track we didn't even deflate our tires we probably should have it would have given us a bit of a smoother ride but the first half of it really wasn't even that bad um, obviously conditions are changing all the time so you just have to judge that yourself called Quandom Point. I think that's how you say it. Um, there's a bit of free camping here but we've just come down for a little bit of a look-see. Put the drone up, had a look at the, the view and uh, it looks pretty special doesn't it? Yeah it does, it's really nice. The water's so blue, it would be so perfect on high tide. Oh. It's low tide at the moment, I'll give you a look. But yeah, look how white the sand is, it's so pretty. Seems like there's plenty of camping here too. We've done pretty much the whole track in winding in and out and um, there's like a little nook in, you know, every corner pretty much for camping, so. Makes it pretty private if you want your own space. Yeah, and the best thing about it is it's free. <laughs> So we just pulled up to Willy Creek. It looks like a pretty awesome spot, doesn't it? Yeah, it's awesome. We're right on the water here. Everyone's camped up and pretty jealous at the moment. <laughs> it's pretty cool to get out and see all of this stuff because for next time, we really know the places where we would want to stay. And there is just so many free camp spots here. Like this is another free camp spot here at Willy, Willy's Creek, I think it's called. Yeah, yeah. And it's just amazing. Like the ocean is right there, the creek, you know, it's like an inlet from the ocean and it looks awesome. I can't wait to get the drone up and show you.
We're back at Coconut Wells, but this time we're gonna do a floating lagoon. So it's really hot. We both need to cool down. So let's get our pool noodles out and float our way down the stream. <laughs> <laughs> Radio guys, the time has come. We're packing up, getting ready to leave Broome. We're heading to Derby, finally to do the Gib River Road. By the time you guys see this episode, we will have already done the Gib. <laughs> Hopefully we make it, hey? Yeah, fingers crossed. <laughs> so if you, if you haven't already seen our Gib River Road episodes, make sure you check the links out down below. I'll pop them in there. Um, I'm sure we had a blast while doing it, but yeah. Yeah. Hopefully, watching this video, we made it in one piece. Fingers crossed, Al. <laughs> Hope we do. <laughs> you never know. But yeah, we really enjoyed our time here in Broome, so it is sad to leave. We hope you guys enjoyed this episode. If you're new here, don't forget to hit that subscribe button. We really appreciate you guys supporting us and watching our videos. We love creating them for you, so we'd love to have you continue along on our journey with us. Drop us a comment below, let us know what's your favourite thing that we did this week because I tell you what, we could have stayed longer here. It's, um, it's been great, so we'll catch you guys next week. Bye!